Heather and I'm director of the Oxford College of Garden Design. The students' end of the year exhibition was held on the 17th of June with over 200 people visiting the show between 4 and 7 p.m. The students go on to use their exhibits as part of their sales portfolio. So the work has a dual role, both as a way of showing the external examiners the quality of the work, but also as a sales aid for when they start their new businesses. The work displayed is a selection of all of their work completed throughout the year, from the first design exercises completed in the intro model, through to the three real gardens completed during the course. Not to mention the 20 or so speed design exercises that stretch every facet of the design repertoire, from commercial housing projects to car park design, through to the siting of tennis courts and swimming pools, garages and driveway design. The course is called Residential Landscape Design for a reason, as we cover both domestic and corporate projects to maximise the employability of our students, as well as to give them the broadest range of experience of any of the design schools. The course lies somewhere between a university education and an apprenticeship, as students and tutors work closely together on real-life projects and clients from the start. This year, Project 1 was a tiny courtyard garden in central Oxford. The garden was part of the development of modern townhouses, built probably in the 1980s, over three floors, with a lounge, dining room and kitchen on the first floor. There is a first floor balcony, but no existing link to the garden. So it was decided very quickly to build a flight of stairs, allowing direct access to the garden. The second site was a small country garden in a village location in Rotherfield in Oxfordshire. The site had significant privacy issues as well as requiring a new garage and workshop, a new conservatory and a kitchen garden, all to be squeezed into a relatively small 500 square metres. The final project was two and a half acres of country garden on a sloping site in Bluebury in Oxfordshire. The front entrance area required a major revamp and the client also requested a conservatory design as well as a new pond straight lake at the bottom of the site. This has been another excellent year. You can see from the slideshow that our students are producing better designs in their first eight weeks than many schools are producing after one year. And it's not just their design ability. The level of technical competence and professional practice is second to none and continues to demonstrate why our students are considered to be some of the best in the world. <laughs>